So a while ago, there was a post on the Facebook 3D printing group about making a sock for the hot end of other printers. Uh, you can normally get them now for E3D um, on their E3D hot end. But if you have a MK8 or MK9 or MK10 or any other type of hot end, you are kind of SOL because nobody makes one. But you can make one yourself. Uh, I've tried it a few times and failed miserably. But then again, um, there was a post on Facebook and a 3D printing group about how you add cornstarch. Yes, cornstarch to the silicone. The biggest problem I always had was the silicone didn't dry inside the mold. But well, what you do is you add silicone or uh, cornstarch to the silicone. When you add the cornstarch to it, it actually draws the moisture into the silicone and the silicone cures faster. Uh, I made one. It works pretty well. I wanted to tweak it a little bit, so while making the second one, I just made a video. Now it hasn't cured yet, and whether it works or not, it's still up in the air. I have made one, but I haven't made a lot of them, so again, this is still up in the air, but here's how I did it. So take a look at this video. It's a little rough, but uh, it'll give you a basic idea of how I went about doing it. Enjoy it. All right, we're going to do a little video on making a heat block sock. You've seen them all. They come in blue usually from uh, E3D. They make their own. Now we're going to use this ultra copper gasket making silicone. It's a super high temperature. Squeeze out a bunch and you're going to want a good amount. more than you would normally think hopefully that's enough I don't know if you can see that um, all the stuff you're going to need is the silicone here's the big catch we're adding cornstarch now this is yeast but I actually have cornstarch in there <laughs> yes that's cornstarch it's not yeast you're going to want some Vaseline some q-tips your mold something to mix in and then some stiff mixers whatever you want. I find using old credit cards cut up is the perfect between flexibility and stiff. What you want is to squirt a good amount of the silicone into the container. Now the uh, cornstarch is mixed in and what it does is it absorbs moisture. Silicone is the exact opposite of just about everything else in the world. It uses moisture to dry. Most things take moisture out to dry. And of course I cut this cup a little too small. Mix it in. Yes, you want a lot. And you want to mix it to about cake consistency. And then you have your shell you want to use some Vaseline on or any kind of basic petroleum jelly. Now I find using a q-tip allows me to get right in there and get it in all the little nooks and crannies. The actual heat block right here and I keep coming out of the camera. And I'm trying to rush and you put this in the mold to make sure you have it packed in on all four sides kind of then you just make sure you line this up with your hole I have a hole in the bottom here for the screw all my little ledges and lippies line up with something all the excess oozes out 
Yes, it's good to have paper towel handy. Definitely want paper towel handy. As this makes a mess. Then, where my little holes are, that allows me to shift the inner mold around to line up. And of course, I'm not getting it lined up. Which way do I gotta go? I probably have to go that way. There we go. And I'll just pack a little more in here. Now I have a little lip designed into it. So it locks up and over the top. And then press the top on. Hopefully, a little bit oozes out right here. Now you let it sit. 24, 48 hours. I'm going to go for 48 hours. And that's it. You take all this crap and dispose of it properly.